did take it 2 1 over Uncivil Ninja. Mm -hmm. That's expected. Mecha you're, you're playing. That's interesting. <coughs> but. Oh! Okay. Yeah, this is the set you want to talk about, huh? Don't you? Oh, I'm so excited to talk about this. Nintendo, one of SoCal's biggest leaders of the unranked movement here. Uh, I, I believe he was our second highest placing SoCal representative at Evo. Yes. Outplaced most of the PR except, I believe, Master Mario. Elegant. Was it elegant? It might have been out. Master Mario just placed, uh, Nintendo just beat him out. Just barely, but... Uh, Nintendo. But anyways, Nintendo has been doing a great job uh, making a name for himself, looking to get onto our SoCal power rankings in general, instead of leading the unranked team. Oh, and he uses the can to escape the combo. Great intelligent play from here. Duck Hunt. Yeah, his really? can plays crazy. And look, look at these at conversions as well. Really impressive to see. Does not have for the can, so it does stall a little bit, but Nintendo definitely been taking some notes from Raido. Looks for the forward smash, but gets interrupted by the Vine Whip. He's going to run to the other side of the platform. Says, I don't want to be there. That's going to be a <laughs> You can't. It's, Duck Hunt doesn't have anything to deal with that, honestly. Yeah, yeah we really don't. We're looking like free patch Ivysaur with that down air. It's still strong, it's still pretty big, it's just weaker and smaller. Doesn't mean it's weak and small. Mm -hmm. So he's able to get it, so Nintendo, he, he, he should be able to easily shake that off. 140%, he's looking right on fire, and here comes the can once more, forcing Cuppy in a really uncomfortable position, and a great off. ledge trap setup. That killed him off the top right there, a combination of the Wild Gunman and the can. Uh, but he tries to use the up air to get something down, but you know you know this MSM stacked when you're seeing players of these caliber already fighting in duels. That is what happens when uh, you take a tournament the day after a major, say $500 pop bonus on this week. And yeah, everyone's just like, oh, I want that money. Coming in right now, but here come the Frisbee conversions. He uses an air to bait out a little more, but Pumpe forcing him off stage, so... Nintendo, great usage of the can. He's such a good job delaying his recovery. He's able to escape it. Yeah, this Charizard looking a little worse for wear right now. Nintendo all over, dodging past everything he's throwing out. Yeah, he's able to get away from that. And here comes the ledge trap set up. Waits for the gunman to fire right in his face. Point blank. Pape looking for an opportunity right now. He's unable to find it. And he goes for the other smash with the can. Hits him right in the face. All right, Nintendo looking for an up air about a great air dodge right there for Pape. I feel like Nintendo's going to catch on to those and start punishing them eventually. But as for right now, he's just going to take the percent lead he has. That's going to be a back throw, going to put him off stage. He has to be very careful. Looks for a down air. Oh, but no it's untackable. It's untackable. You, Nintendo does such a good job escaping the pressure, but sometimes he just overcommits too much to escape it, though. Yeah, that was rather unfortunate. <laughs> These shields <laughs> are really backfiring for Nintendo. And he's trying to go for the grab setup, but this time Puppet gets hit up with the can instead. Great adaptation by Puppet though, because he knew that Nintendo likes to put the gunmen down and then go for the grab on the shield, but this time he was expecting it and was able to escape that pressure. So Nintendo at a disadvantage, the can's gonna pop, unable to save him. But thankfully. Well, no down there right there. Puppet just realizing, you know what, it's not it's the right time to pull the trigger right there. Again, I wasn't sure I had it. Instead, Strange <sighs> looks for the roll, but doesn't fight the up here. Not gonna oh, go. that will, though. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. That's all you can really say. Yeah, I mean, he, Puppet was just all over him on that last stock. You know, Duck Hunt, once he's in a bad spot, if he doesn't have access to the can, which he didn't anymore, mm -hmm. then there's not a lot he can do. Yeah, because that can as Duck Hunt is your get out of jail free card. That's that's the frame frame one, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a frame one opportunity, and we can do it. You can trade arrows, but also what backfired a little bit, like you said earlier, Puppe was shooting the cans while Nintendo was trying to go in for a grab, and it backfired on him, and he ate two cans to the face for free on the last stock. Three, two, one, go! So hopefully we get to see something different from Nintendo on game number two, but Puppe. This time going aggressive with the can once more, but Puppy simply just shakes it off. Yeah, but now he's on the ledge once again. He's Nintendo going to be able to get a ledge trap. Forward throw to the forward are going to be a bit of damage, but a quick response here from uh, Puppe. He's able to fire back. Here comes the can chasing right after him, but this time Puppe, instead of going super aggressive, he adapts and goes for this more campy setup using his using Razor Leaf to get him out of that situation. And Pumpe, he chased him down. He knew exactly that Nintendo wasn't going to air dodge and he was going to jump away and chase him to get the kill. But Pumpe, Pumpe he actually used that just to get more damage, Pumpe, didn't he? Are you serious right now? He said, 
He's like, kid, that, that last match was too close, man. I can't have that. I need to show people who I am. I can't be having people say, oh, man, I'm, I'm losing to a SoCal on rank today like that. What is this? Frisbee conversions! Are you crazy, Nintendo? He doesn't get the kill, but how many did he get? Four or five? That was crazy coming in. And the M smash is on the shield, so no kill just yet. But the can finds it, Smart Nintendo. Are you joking? Way up and right there. Pape was definitely looking for a down and right down. Knew that he could kill Nintendo. But the up smash is going to draw him in 95% on Nintendo. Yeah, up in the can actually gets hit up with the Razor Leaf, so it's going to be a little more damage himself. So Nintendo's got to be careful. Can is back up and available. But this time, Puppy. Oh, here we go. Great conversion coming in right now. Play Pigeon into the up smash. Goes connect for 28% on Puppy, and he's still alive. Putting the can in a great spot. Oh, Pape needs to be careful because these Frisbee conversions can come into play, but the fair breaks him out, so Pape takes it, so he's one stock away from taking it over Nintendo. Oh, the up air almost connecting, right, or almost killing, rather, right? The Squirtle, very light. Looks like we're going to see the Ivy Sword come out. He doesn't need the Squirtle for these low percent combos. Yeah, he's able to get him out of that situation. Can comes out, but unable to block out the Razor Leaf. I think that's way more for the better because that would have been trading for a little more kills himself. But Pape, here come the back air chains. He's only able to find the vine whip. But here come the conversions. No can just yet. So 148, he's still alive. Yeah, what is that's that? That's the mix up. So the can will always go the way it was facing when it dropped when you hit it. You shoot it. So it was facing inwards towards the center of the stage, facing left. But Nintendo hit it right with a back air and then immediately started mashing left. So it would come back in. And kind of oh. down, but the vine whip's gonna kill him off the top. Yeah, crazy stuff. But Nintendo really showing really off. Show. That, was, that was some great dark time play. Really showing off what this character had. Four clay pigeon combos on the Charizard, Charizard. and then it was finally.